Hello, Chile Octopus is my name and I'm excited to answer your questions on our platform at Relationship and Marriage again. So today, what am I talking about? I'm talking about a very simple question I heard over the weekend. So tough, but so simple. <laughs> What's the difference between love and emotion? And I'm like, whoops, when I got that question, like, what kind of question is this? Because it's so interwoven, you need to actually be technical to do the operation and to dissect what love is, what emotion is. Okay, let me start from a few factors that just keep us on course, that love would always have emotions in it. But emotions will not always have love in it. It's just like when we travel back to 1 Corinthians 13 and the Bible says, I can actually give my body to be born and not still love. I mean, that's so shocking because a lot of people say to you, first off, that love involves giving. They even, you know, go to scriptures and say like John 3, 16, for God so loved that he gave. Now, here's the point. What you must get in the difference here is that love is first of all a choice, a commitment and a decision. Now, emotions follow choices, emotions follow decisions, emotions follow actions. For instance, I always say this, that it's like seed time harvest. If I planted something, I'm going to reap something if I give it the right conditions. So love is just that way. And I'm going to travel through scripture to also prove that. Now the Bible says, while we're yet sinners, Christ came and died for us. John 3, 16, which I started earlier, backs up that I was out of love. He decided. So we didn't qualify for it, but he chose to do it. Now here's the point. Another scripture says that we love him because he first loved us. Now his loving didn't have to do with the emotion of it. It's not because he was so excited, didn't know what to do about himself. So he just, you know, let me go and die for these people. Ooh. Now if you go back to get them and you get that, that's not what happened. Because he went through a tough time going through death, going through the punishment that followed, going through separation from his father. He took a hard decision. And that's why when you travel back to 1 Corinthians 13, you just realize, oh, he suffers long. So Christ was suffering long. That was a decision to suffer long. He says he's not puffed up, you know, he's not arrogant, he's not, he's just kind, he's just gentle. You know, it, it doesn't seek its own way. He was seeking the best for us. That's what love is. So if somebody comes into your life, you know, and you want to know whether you love them or not, the thing is, can you persistently, consistently choose to be good to them irrespective of what they do? That's where love comes in. Now, the reward of the choice is the emotion. But here's what happened to a lot of people. They are in the emotion of loss. They are in the emotion of, you know, just wanting to be with the person. And they say, oh, I love him. No. Certain times you are just into her. Not that you love her. There's a big difference. You know, when you spend time with people, you can get into them. You can just always want to be with them. Now, one big distinguishing factor is that love always seeks the betterment of the other or to give to the other. But emotions purely always just wants to take. How you make me feel. How you, oh, no, no, you know, how you no 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 come back home so where is the balance the balance is when two people come together to have a relationship that leads to marriage or in marriage both should be seeking to give both should be seeking to improve the other person both should be seeking to part with something of value to the other person if both of us are doing that what you get is that we have the right emotions generated so love will generate emotions just like us. Oh my God, sometimes we just feel overwhelmed. You mean you came to die for us? I mean, you took all of that step. Oh, you did so, so, and so. Then it generates the emotion. And that's what's going to sustain love in marriage, actually. Because for a lot of people, they just follow the emotion. Then all of a sudden, the factors don't just add up. Then they feel, I'm no longer in love with him. No, generate it, create it by your actions, by your thoughtfulness. That's what love is. So love is not just that mere emotion. I really hope I attempted because, you know, the, drawing the line very often can be so, 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 so technical. So I'll just add quickly before I'm done with this video that if the emotion is not there, you're actually also taking a risk. It means the love is not generating it enough. So while I say it's a decision, while I say it's a commitment, while I say it's, it's a consistent decision, it must be able to generate emotion. The chemistry is part of it, you know, so that you are able to connect at that level. If you don't connect at that level, I'm sorry, the person may say love is a choice now and I'll get to get the emotion later. It's not all the time. So if the actions and the thoughtfulness are not generating emotion already, then it's likely they don't have the right style to generate emotions for you. I really hope that this video blessed you. And I'll just remind you, just in case you have not, subscribe to our YouTube channel and you get more of this all the time. God bless you.
Thank you.